and Jenny was watching the threading video, my phone died, so I am getting a text.
So we will just answer it. Yes. Sorry guys, can you hear me now? Yes, we can. Yes, ma'am. Uh, yeah, earlier I was saying about the chin, uh, henna tint. I think you guys can get it on Amazon or there will be a specific site as well if you find, uh, search it on the Google. Did you want to show it for them? Uh, yeah, I think well, we can show them, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, it's the Mina Eye Henna Drop. Or yeah. Eye Drop Henna. Yeah. There will be a lot of products, like it doesn't have to be this one, this one, but uh, if you go on a Google, you'll find a variety of uh, read reviews and all that, but I think it's the best and I have found out since last six, seven years I've been using the same one. Because um, with a lot of henna, there is a problem of breaking out because it depends on the skin as well. Like how your skin is. Um, if you break out with certain chemicals or certain things. Uh, so that's the difference between skin and henna. With kids, we use a developer. But henna, we use a water to mix it up. As a lash um, specialist, are we allowed to do henna? Or do you have to be an ST? No. Um, so it, um, um, in the lash specialty license, um, you're supposed to be able to do henna and virgin as well. It comes in the license. And what else? I didn't hear what you said. The henna and threading. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, you guys are ready? We're gonna mix the henna. So we have a model. Actually, you know what? Let me show it to you before I so I can have a bigger brows. If you guys wanna look one more time, there's one more time. time. Uh, do you do the mapping? Um, um, with the... So no, because that's what I'm doing today, so we can have the numbers. If you wanna do the mapping, you do it, but I don't. Um, okay. Yeah, I think Amy has not filmed it through the magic. Okay. But if she has YouTube probably, but I don't think it has been assigned at all. So, okay. I'll just do trading and uh, we'll go for the shape. Okay, bye. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to explain anything, I'm just going to throw it as bad as I like. Not bad as like normal. So I for the Like when you get the hair pulled out, that's when it hurts, but to be honest, I don't hear that bad. Yeah. That's a little bit of a right? Yeah. Yeah. And then, especially if, you, uh, if your skin gets really wet, I would see the test. And with the shaping too, you would get precise shaping with the threading. Uh, 
with vaccine, no matter how much you try to precise it, it will never be precise again. Uh -huh. But with cleaning, you can do that because you can literally count one day. You can literally take out each year at a time, so you don't overtake out the day. All the spam from the day. You don't never in front of your phone. Never do that. Sometimes the little knowledge you get is they'll try to keep on mapping on the, uh, themselves. They don't know uh, how it's supposed to be. So taking out one minute, two minutes, and you end up making it up. Uh, how do you do this question? Where is it at? Scroll up. What's it at? Is it up or down? I just take it tightly. What's the proper down? I just take time. What's the proper name? I just take time. What's the proper name? Oh, that's there's that's taking us. Yeah, that's us. That's us. Cause the question sort of popped up here. This is just saying what we're saying. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Vanessa wants to know: Is there any tips on how to keep your fingers from getting raw while, while threading? I just did one. I just did one leg, and my finger feels almost wet. Well, well, unless I'm holding it incorrectly. What I went and did is I went and I uh, put a band aid on my finger, but it's sliding away from the band aid to my actual skin. So I thought that would be a prevention. Um, so do you have any suggestions on what we do because our finger? You need to kill that skin. You need to kill it. How do you do that? We practice, practice, practice. Uh, okay. There is no so choice. There is no, yeah, because it, um, right now, if you try to take another way to prevent your fingers, you won't know where the thread will stay there. It has to be it's on the perfect. same place. Like my thread, it goes on this finger and this finger. I know that. But you guys are just practicing it right now so you guys need to know where your thread stays before you put any precautions on there at first definitely you, it will hurt with your thread a uh, little bit of cuts but that is very normal after you know you are okay to mold it and you know what you're doing then you can use a pad uh, especially those tips uh, which we wrap up on the attacking machine those are the good ones, but I would not suggest until you know how to do training and where your thread goes. You'd be a familiar. Yes. You're pretty much be familiar with where your thread is. Yes, yes. Like, you can use that right now, but uh, the problem I have seen on so many people is once you started doing that, uh, without that, you don't, you don't know how to do training. You always wanted something in your hands. So, okay. Um, let's mix the tinting. So, so we're gonna use... You're getting ready to do a tin on her also. Yes. So you get the yes. prior to. Yes, so that way I can have a cleaner eyebrow, perfect shape. Uh, we don't have to worry 
see the consistency with that. Um, I think so. Watch this again. Turn it This brush is too. I know that's the only brush you have. Make sure the brush is really precise. So at an angle is an angle yeah. that we're looking for. That silver brush. Yes, that is perfect. So the makeup is an angled brush. And I, I am just following my brows. Yes, it is a makeup brush with an angle. Um, it's yeah. generally classified as the concealer brush. It's a small, small application brush that has the angle. You can use the straight one, but angle brushes are more precise and easier to use. Is there any specific thing you do for the front of the eyebrows? Sometimes. Um, like if they want to like operate. I'm going to wipe off a little bit already. No, oh, okay. The front part. Use a Q-tip. Clean the area. Precisely. Because it stains skin for a long time. It depends how long you keep it. The longer you keep it, the longer stain is going to remain. And especially with the henna, uh, the main point of using henna tint is to leave the stain on your skin. Uh, with other tinting, it does not. Like, it, it colors your hair, but with the henna tint, it does remain on your skin. But you have to at least keep it for a while. Are you applying to the skin as well as the hair? Yes. Okay. I'm going to say automatically goes on the skin to Someone asked how long does it usually last? Uh, and let me take it off then. It, it is supposed to last for two to three weeks, so no scrubbing oil between the little parts, so it will last longer. The darker you leave and the deeper you can take, the longer it lasts as well. So if you want a natural look at first, you want to keep your um, henna tape for more than seven to eight minutes, right? So if you keep it longer. It will get darker, so it will last longer as well. So the, the application that you're using is you're applying it just like a paste as well. It's not spears, you're really pasting it going to the skin. Yes. Okay. Uh, that's what I'm saying. If you have angle brush, you could go in between too, right? So I'm trying to go in between up right here. For our skin, efforts more. So you can go and get under here. Mm -hmm. So that's why you know brush and make it feel more predictable. And uh, the things you need to remember, especially those who have tattooed eyebrows and uh, microbladed eyebrows, they take color to line faster than the regular. So the timing which you put on the regular eyebrows, for example, we're keeping her for five to seven minutes and we're checking the color, right? So you have to take their color within two to three minutes to check it before. Yes, if they've been microbladed or tattooed. Uh, yeah, when they have microbladed or tattooed, you want to wipe them faster because they take color really fast. So if I do keep them a little bit um, while they want to do it, Mapping would be a good idea and be your idea, so you can have a perfect one. But I will just go on top of her eyebrows because I've already cleaned her eyebrows. I know I'm going to stay where I'm just going on top of her. Okay, so I'm going to give you a stingy little tip. So this isn't a real thin application. If you notice, it's almost like the paste that she has in the uh, container, in her mixture. She's applying it just like that on the lash. It's not a real thin layer. She's actually pasting 